Legion Commander doing a really good job with PMS quelling, being a melee hero, having oh, that Ohio. attack damage, and Ohio. Where is he? What's he up to? Oh, He's God. chasing Disruptor, but he was also just tanking some serious shots from Mushi. Man, I'm so impressed with this ward block up top. This is actually so smart. Like, just to foresee the fact that no matter what happens, this camp being gone is just so much better for you. And you were a Disruptor trying to stack and pull. If you pull across to this, Beastmaster will contest with a Dazzle, potentially, as well. Oh, yeah, right? with a Dazzle, and, 100%. And then you just lose the stack anyway. So. Yeah. Because if you're on your own as Disruptor, you're like, oh, so? I don't care if he comes over. I'll just run up, punch him. If he tries to punch me, I'll glimpse him back when Klinks gets here. And, oh, second kill of the game. I, I, this was kind of inevitable if DJ is going to stay. Yeah. PMS or Nyx, he's pretty pretty uh, resilient up against the Nature's Prophet. What's, what's going on over here? Ohio and Pilot die. They see jabs up on this high ground. How how did they see him, though? Uh, the ward they placed over here. Oh, yes, you're right. There's a yeah. brand new ward there. Oh, dear lord. Oops. Well, that's they my first, first miss kill of the day. That's my bad. Oh, pilot died with the rune deny. <laughs> Got him. So good. Block the kill score as well, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this is great. Nice crushing on the Dazzle. He's got no grave, actually, so this should be a kill for Mushi. Piles the damage in with the Searing Arrows, and they come in with the Sprout as well. The Axe is clear oh, through it. Ohio glimpses back, though, into the Danger Zone, and Mushi will look for the second kill of the game for him. But Ice 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 says, thank you very much. I've keep it in here. I'll be taking this with my Facebook for right-click damage. That's pretty impressive, considering his start. Glass is certainly low for a profit, for sure. He's, he's died twice, and... Honestly, he's done really, really well somehow, but in come the birdies, DJ. Yeah, hits the impale, and it'll be smooth sailing from there on as Excalibur just micros through and lands the familiars on his head. Like, if you play any sort of normal five position support against that hero, you actually can't do anything. It's so irritating. He's impossible to handle. He can be like a support plus a core, and you can't deal with this guy sometimes. And now, I <laughs> let him get to shit on. Fuck you, Nature's Prophet. <laughs> I've banned this show every game, and That's it makes right. me happy. A big duel in, though. This mid Legion nearly finishes off EE within it, but uh, gonna have to run away now with a poison on him. Actually, Legion in a lot of trouble. Stick shot is done. Excalibur chased by Jab. This Vistage being body blocked up, but the familiars will now stun the Treants. Summons against summons, and as the Fnatic come out pretty nicely on top, but the tower is defended. Ice 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 comes back down again. It's making sure that Fnatic don't get too much more chip damage, but they're going to try and kill Ice 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 again, potentially. Grave chill. Not going to go for the familiar stuns just yet. Like backstabbing Excalibur. There's the crush. Nature's Wrath, it bounces. One of the final hits comes in, but the Gale from the EE down onto the Nature's Prophet, and look at the damage. The Medallion with the Familiars absolutely destroy him. And now Jabs has to go for the TP. The stun attempt not quite going to land. DJ barely misses out on that. We're looking at nine minutes in, he's going to be scouting around. And oh no, he's going to make another hit at bot lane. He's shifting he's over there. Right he's about to be more rich than I say, say in this kill. I mean, where's the tower range? Okay, right in the middle. Down he goes. Raindrop's not really going to save you from this. Punches come out from EE and find yet another kill. Is this the way? Have they found the key to dismantling Maneski? Killing Ice 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 over and over again in lanes? Blink Slardar, Blink Legion, even against Plague Wards and Familiars. And all that other stuff, the boars as well. Look, honestly, how many summons does Fnatic need? EE down bot lane. They start with the crush and they'll follow with the duel. This should be a win here for the Legion Commander. No, barely misses out. That should have been one. Out. It's just so close with the DD run last time and now that. Oh, DJ spotted out. Nice sentry placed down by Ninja Boy. Very, very well placed. So they will get a double kill for the Legion. That probably makes up for the missing damage. Lacking there from two duels missed in a row. Barely, barely. Not only scouting the high ground for any kind of backstab, but also setting up for these Ancients. Farming yeah. both places at the same time. And there he sees the Disruptor. Magic field in. They won another duel. Envy turns with the poison Nova. Moon goes forward. The crush into the back. Jab, backstab, final dive with a glimpse the away. They can't break. <laughs> Envy stuck. And with a duel in, they finally get a win for Moon. The turn round. Ice, ice, ice. So taken down by the familiars and DJ. Helped out. Jabs. Good two hand crush. Maybe buys a bit of time, but Ninja Hook still falls. And now the roar in onto an illusion. No! That's not how it's meant to go. 
Mushi clears up Highlight Dive. There aren't any stuns remaining. There's one for long range. DJ lands in perfectly placed. Now in comes Jab for no crush. He's got no mana. Even with that, press the attack. The overwhelming odds as well from Legion. Well, the damage, but the dispel on the stun for the clicks to run. Couple of minutes here to farm bottom lane and maybe a bit of jungle. A little bit scared of what's coming his way, but Highlight Die Excalibur, both farming ancients here with the familiars. That medallion. With a Shadow Wave, actually does a, a decent chunk of damage there, and we've got the Midas already up on the Visage as Nature's Prophet dies up the top lane, DJ with a Vendetta. Out of a Necrobolt too. And a way more damage. Yeah, maybe so. So I don't know. I'm not I sure I mean, this moves really fast, and it's all basically always up is really important. You can split push a lot better with the Helm. I, I would definitely think Helm's underrated. I don't know if this is a good example of like the best time to buy it, but... Excalibur, Solar Press, Midas coming off cooldown, but they have to go and look for a fight. Efficiency be damned, but Aegis already gone. Yep, then the Helm Creep, then the Helm creep, and then, then the, two the Necronomicon, creeps, so and then the Birds. So, ten with the Aghanim's Birds. Ten. Okay, great, good point. We, we don't count Plague Wars, they're not something. Really. Now, top lane, Disruptor? So that's, uh, that's a dead Disruptor. He's uh, in a lot of trouble if the Mana Burn clears him up, but Jabs is here to turn this one around. Nice and pale, the TP's come out, and there are no more stuns. One second until Crush came back up, with Prophet being the one that TP's back. As long as it prioritizes and isn't totally random. So that must be the choice, eh? People take that over the health. Yeah, I, I think I've seen it a couple of times. I, I, I don't know. I've, I've not seen help many. Help. I've not seen many uh, Core Visage. I mean, we don't care about Dazzle because Excalibur, the Visage we've been talking about, he is the one to get jumped on as well. Legion Duel, not there just... in time, gets stunned up. Oh. Hell, I thought they used it before, my mistake. A full minute. Thought it would be less than that, but the pause is kind of messed with my brain. And Beastmaster's getting wrapped hard here. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, oh yeah, he's gonna be in trouble. Who's gonna get dueled? Oh, he roars the slot off, and he gets super dueled. Uh, a nice little win there. H how many are we up to now? Is that oh. the third win, I guess? Oh, DJ is holy. He doesn't have a TP. Oh, is he going to be found by Jabs? Oh, this is such an awkward moment. EE -E has died in the meantime to Mushi. Mushi <laughs> dies so, now. They're right next oh to Jabs. Oh, the courier's coming. Go. It's going to go oh, over the next. Blink, blink, blink. <laughs> oh, Jabs? He's gone. Wait. He doesn't know where he's, he doesn't know where he's gone to. The courier finds him. He used the invis. And now he has to make sure they don't lose the courier. Do they have any reveal? They've scanned now. There's the dust. Jabs has a blink stun, but the blink away from oh. DJ gets himself away. He's still amplified up, though. This could still be trouble for him. Nice turn and impale. The blink and duel. Five seconds or so until you can have that out from the Legion Commander. Where are the TPs? No one's coming in to save DJ. He is left high and dry. There's the duel. There's the win. Legion will secure even more damage. What an awkward engagement. We're watching yeah. this. In the meantime, what, what, what actually happened down bottom? Like it. <laughs> catches on to a centaur. That's a good start. They get themselves away though. Eternal Envy. Oh, he is alone. Ice 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 says hello. Got a mana too. Venomance has got nothing to give. And now in comes Jabs. The long TP rotation comes in and Mushi clears up. Radiant trying to catch someone up at top. Maybe cancel some TPs, but Moon and Ninja Boogie both sitting back. 8k lead at this point with the Prophet with Aghanims. That's very scary. And he's he's going the full out build, boys. Doctrine core time. This I mean, I missed this build this to be awkward. honest. Ohio, he's oh, yeah. There it is. Look at that chain commander. stun. But what can you do now? Where's your damage? You just use <laughs> your stuns. And Mineski could turn this one back with a great static storm, stopping DJ from stunning. The carabase is there. But the clip's already come through. Moon is cleared up. They do get that kill with the Familiars doing an inordinate amount of damage, and they're looking for Ninja Boogie now as well. Kinetic Field slows the advance, and I think Jabs should be okay. They're sprinting away, uh, they get the Legion. The Roar does start things off fast enough, speedily. They jump in, and they're able to chase Tier 3 mid, being pressured, but a two-man stun. DJ perfect with a blink initiation. In comes Ohio, slaps him down, and the two supports from Mineski will fall. But look at their base, dude. It's in disarray. Tier 3 mid is nearly dead. Like, there, there, there's no way they're coming home. They're going to try and get something off of that fight top. And he's correct. They are going for the Roshan. Link taking racks, though. Middle lane, Mushi slides in. Oh, they have no clip. The, the melee racks is gone. Sick, bro. 
Roshan's not even dead yet. Fushi now, he has to turn and fight. He's taken melee, but he's 1v3 at this point. Roshan still he's being so taken ring. slowly but surely. Oh, but they have gem though. Can't go in with the poison on him, unfortunately. But they get the tier 3 bottom to half HP. Roshan finally does go down, and Excalibur will be taking the Aegis and the Cheese. Now he could maybe convert from this into something big, like another lane of Rax, but... I don't know who they're going to find. Eternal oh, Envy. Nah, that's where he ends. He's Envy. Oh, hello. Blink Crush starts things off. Oh, dearie me. Mushi with all that damage. Death Pact and Monkey King Bar. And now they will just shift towards the bottom lane. The push has been halted. And Serpent Wards as well from Rasta. That's how it all yeah. works. Just making sure. Weird stuff happens in Dota 2. Mushi. Oh. Can oh, there's a, a refresher. Goes for a weird uh, now that my chance are on your face, let me just throw another one here. <laughs> he TP <laughs> stop as well. Like Look at Nyx! Nyx just punching them! He can't! He can't do anything! <laughs> the Trace can't like... all fit on the tower! I mean, he might be in trouble now. DJ has found him, but the tier 3 is falling. The fight bottom lane, BKB from the Legion. The battle kicking off proper down here. But they'll retreat. The top lane fight continues. Venomous Gale comes through from EE, <laughs> but they can't deal with their freaking treants! They'll finally die, won't they? No, it's just, it's just ulti! There's no Gale on them, it's just poison over. Now they have to be right click down. Practicing their ratting here. I'm just gonna watch the little shield here. Oh, sneaking, like, sneaking by. Back door oh my back. god, dude, this is so. And there goes the back door. Hello! Glyph is forced. So back door gets disabled here. Let's still find Mushi though. Great initiation. Jump in. Bottom. bottom lane, what's happening? Tier 3. Ah, one hit away. Gonna leave it. Denied by EE. E. There we go. There we go. Nicely done, Eternal Envy. Well played. Sick move. <laughs> Get in there, Trent. Get him. Radiance Get him. Just right trying to teach them. Well, they appreciate well, that, I'm sure. Talk more about backdoor, please. I mean, it's the most important thing in this game. Oh, jab misses his cross. That could have been a good go, but now he puts himself in the firing lines. Excalibur comes in. Shivers guard. Through onto the Slada, Soul Assumption and the Birds. There we go, kill him off. He's down, but it's Ice and Ice in the back. The duel is happening somewhere. I want to watch this Prophet fall though. DJ in Ohio pairing up to take him down. The fight in the back. Moon gets the kill with Mushi, helping out onto Excalibur, but they can't chase onto anyone else, I don't think. Even though DJ has the amp damage on him, they've got to deal. The Rock? You can just stare, barely see the wing flapping, but nope, they see it. Ninja Boogie, too good. And Mushi absolutely annihilates it. Roshan, Aegis, Cheese, both picked up, and Fnatic, this is really going to be a disastrous you know couple what? of five minutes. Don't leave your base, my friends. DJ is the only one that can seriously move forward by any measurable distance, but there is a gem over on Jabs. DJ looping in behind here, potentially, but the Maneski guys, they're going to show down on the bottom lane. The duel comes in with a static storm, and down goes Excalibur. Immediately destroyed, another one falls. It's Ohio. Beastmaster gone with no buyback, and now what do you do? You buy back the Visage. The Glyph is forced here. Envy, he has to blink ulti. He does. The Gale lands in onto the Clink, but he has Aegis and Cheese. This is a nightmare. An absolute nightmare. Top lane, Ice 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 takes down the melee racks there. Two full lanes gone, you look for the third, the four staff comes through, but Mushi, he has a second life. He's fine, he'll come back up and he'll be able to eat another one of these creeps with the death pack in just a little bit. Look for the Megas. Who cares about Megas? Ice as Ice is taking tier fours. Nature's Prophet just ripping away, killing off these towers. I, well, Fnatic, how do you, you can't, right? This is, this is open, you can't hold. Nice and land start. this maybe is where you go for the Hex. Into the damage, you kill the Legion. Gab's now being chased away. Ninja Boogie Hitting the buildings. retreats out. Oh, they got him! He actually couldn't hit that building. They stunned him up. Hey, Mushu was impressive. behind. Oh, wow, Mushu was in behind. Oh, is Ice Ice going in? He's going in! One hit. Oh, no, he went too far, though! Oh, he got <laughs> <laughs> Well, Excalibur gets a triple uh... kill with a buyback. Oh, wait, H Envy... Hang on. Where, where do they die? Miles away. In base. One of them died in base. <laughs> oh. He is, uh... He's just hanging around. Tier 3 falls. Fnatic, they're going for it. You, Tier you have to go. You have There's to go no in. Plague getting yeah. placed down. This is all or nothing for Fnatic. Maneski 
have to defend their base though. It's not as easy as it looks. There's the blink with the Gale and the Poison Nova now being thrown out onto Jab. The Roar comes through onto Nana. They've caught the Legion Commander with a Hex down onto her as well. She's dropping low, being brought down. There goes the Legion. Has a buyback. Has a buyback. Forward. Excalibur, he is not going to be as lucky. Oh, he's actually healed up. He's off the grave as well. Still alive. The Moody, are in the base though. They can't lose Ohio now. Turns back to fight, but they've lost so much here. Fnatic buyback on the Venno. Pylite and Excalibur have to run away. Body blocked by a million triumphs now as more come out. Ice 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 has an entire army. The Menagerie is here. The birds. That They're taking down the tier four. The throne's in trouble. Oh, this could be good. Fnatic, are they actually doing this? They're going to be able to bring down Moshi. Moshi, he's just being forced out of the way. He is going to survive a little bit longer, but now he dies. And is taking down the Beastmaster, but the throne the throne is falling! Another old team from EE! EE is doing it! No freaking way! A fanatic managed to pull this off! The throne is dead! What? What the hell? YOLO hell did they just down mid. What did they just watch? They what waited the whole watch? time what just, for the Trent? YOLO down mid. Trent? And it worked. I'm impressed. Trent? It was just a weird game to play Dazzle. You feel like you have this idea of how a game goes when you play Dazzle, where your team is standing in a certain area and you're hiding in some trees. Pretty stellar beginning here, this puck in the middle lane. But top contest of the little pull from Jabs. Ohio just <laughs> runs straight in. His poor man's shield is tanking up all these hits. He apparently doesn't care about the damage, but in comes the dual breath. Spectre has a dagger cut through the trees and now starts taking into Ohio with an ice path from Ninja Boogie, who has hit level 2 before the rest of his team, it looks like, they'll kill off Ohio, so now he cares. Bottom lane, the dive in onto Winter Live and Ice Ice Ice. Four stacks up of the goo. A couple of cool sprays in and Eternal Envy might be able to get this kill, but there's a mango and a cold embrace. Ice 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 trying to bait this one out. DJ stacking him ancients, but it's the Prowlers. He has to get that perfect. All right. Oh, ah, oh, Prowlers. Oh, oh, he might get him out. Get out. Run! Oh my god, eight Prowlers. <laughs> Actually, alright, you know what I've seen some players do? They'll just throw the stun and stand there just to like stack Prowlers. Because it's actually so impossible. Nice late of heaven play, by the way. I know. And top lane, they grab a kill. They do. A one for one, Trey. though. Good trade there. As well does successfully get this ancient stacked up. He sure does. Ohio gone for this two. Right, they they always cover top, right? I believe so. Ohio still stuck around for a little too long. With a dual breath on him. Moshi sprints forward. The dagger is there. No. Uh, get a word. He just did this. Top tower is under attack. I'm sorry. That's just like. That's brutal, man. Come on. Focusing down this way, and Radiant's trying to focus up into the dire jungle, probably. Uh, which means Radiant then are going to be controlling up a lot of Roche just by getting this tower down so early. Bristol and uh, the Visage Medallion already, and a Beastmaster. Oh, Mushi, you are sick. Mm. Dodges away from the stun, slides around the Nyx, they find the kill. Oh, look how low they Moon got bottom. Envy. They find the kill. Is Moon very nearly dead? Yeah, you're right, the puck close to death. This area just seems so important to what the Radiant has. If they can just control up Roche, then I feel like their game plan is a success. Okay. The Haunt. Moon jumps forward with a jaunt, a good stun from DJ, slows this down a bit, but Ohio is straight yeah, up dead. Just up to death. You're gonna throw Roar into a Jakiro. You might, you might have to, honestly, if you want to try and kill him. Top lane DJ, this is the stun, Mushi is doing an exceptional job of just sidestepping these impales. It's bottom, Envy gone on, but Ninja Boogie and Ice 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 unable to capitalize on Eternal Envy's I guess, perceived weakness in this bottom lane. Oh, I die actually going for a bit of an aggressive play here. They are rotating the familiars forward. The, yeah, for, they're after the courier for now. Oh, they got it. No items on it, but they're going to find even more. Ice, ice, ice. Hunted down, killed off. Kiro gets away, but they lose their off lane. Wyvern. Now, TP's come back into mid because Moon is pressuring tier one with a glyph there. But top lane, Ohio and DJ, they pair up to kill a Spectre. That's where they were. So they see him taking the stack, but they might not even be able to go. Yeah, he's just getting zoned by Excalibur. Good luck with that. Oh god, with the 
with a medallion. This, this melee's doing so much damage. They've got four heroes now, though, and the haunt. And they're coming in for EE. Oh, wow, that desolate damage from Mushi, level three. Wipe through EE. He cleared the stack, and I guess he bought himself a ring of health. He's... But just happenstance. The raging even scan to make sure if there's anyone coming into their jungle. Jump in on to EE. He's very tanky though. Drops in about half HP now, but they can start battling in the back. The Winter's Curse comes through, but Night Stalker chase <laughs> down, jabs. He's being slowed by the goo. They've got a shrine up on the high ground. It's not active for another two minutes. Eternal Envy wants to keep on going with Familiar's coming forward. Hit by the dual breath. Nice ice path from Mr. Boogie as well. Went to Wyvern. Tries to slow the Arctic Burn, but in come the little birdies. Familiar's clapping away. Takes down the Wyvern. Envy still alive. With a dream core there. Holding them in place. They just stand their ground and battle. Okay, well. Oh, not there getting he is. gold then. Now he shows. <laughs> Look at that. Three pings come out. Guys, go kill. DJ starts things off. Vendetta. Impale. Oh, lands this time. DJ. Doesn't get sidestepped by stun. Mushi. Familiar. Stun one, stun two. Not even required, but they'll use it anyway to get that kill in onto the Spectre. The trade off here is a bit of pressure into the tier one mid lane as Moon deals with Envy, but the TP's come through. Tier one still stands. Ninja Boogie caught the roar onto Ice 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 as well. Ice Path is good. He has a curse and a cold embrace, but with all this damage coming through, Ninja Boogie just has the TP away. Very few stuns remaining. Another wild axis throw from Ohio. No, doesn't need it. I have the familiars flying in again from Excalibur as the tier one's denied by Pile I Die and Moon. They know he's here. They see the backstab or they see the escape of the puck. Those TP's back to base. Yeah. He went for the drums into Diffuse the Blade. I guess ex it was expected yeah. this game, right? With the amount of pressure you're going to be under, Radiance is just never going to happen. So he goes for the, the item you can build a little bit, uh, I guess, bit by bit, but. Oh, what? Uh, he just Holy died. Shit, that is. He bought it. Damage. Wow. Yeah, it melts. Yeah, when you get to 14, you level it, then you go for the 15 with the 75 damage. Yeah. So Invoker has the pop on 4 Spirit, which you like, but the, the first one's like 25 damage or 175 health, which is like close to meaningless. Roshan gets taken by Fnatic as they move up this ramp. Carapace there onto Jakiro. Actually, maybe able to start something off. Eternal Envy sprints forward, Sol Ring in with the Goose stacking up. He's tanky with 76 charges to go as well. Ice says Ice holding on to the Winter's Curse, but Envy has to pop the stick now. Hood on cooldown for a good 50 seconds. Familiar birds are flying in through the back door. If they can land a sun in here onto someone, it could be a, an amazing beginning. But DJ's killed off Moon. Somewhere lurking in the back end, despite the kind of building we at the front even get with Ice and Ice being taken out. He, he can't. He just cannot no. cast any spells. How did the puck just get obliterated? Stop this uh, relic from getting there. Oh, someone else is taking over. Envy doesn't quite have his uh, relic yet. Oh, we'll see. Mushi's in trouble again. Potentially. They see DJ. Good silence. Pop the night time as well. Good kill, but in comes the roar. Moon wants to turn his back onto Ohio. And Beastmaster left high and dry. The rest of the team, the familiar birds, killing off Excalibur. Nearly burnt down by his own little pet. Assumption, face shifted off the puck. Looks like he can escape with a nice blink away. So he gets a double kill here. Ninja Boogie, though, cleared up. They'll chase into Ice Ice Ice. He's got a teleport scroll. This Arctic Burn for the last long enough to go over the trees. He goes for the cold embrace. Now the puck jumps back in. The reinitiation. The horse comes through. Oh, Excalibur may be in trouble here. Moon, though, being burnt down. They've lost jabs. They've lost Ice Ice Ice. And the puck has to blink away. They didn't oh, come in get with Mushi. Oh, the Graveskeeper. Oh, oh no. Familiar Birds. Birds. Yule Scepter Blink. Okay. Puck should be okay. Oh. Oh. Didn't phase shift. Tried to go for the Blink immediately. Triple kill for Excalibur surviving on what? 50 HP or something as the charges of the Gravekeeper's Cloak, the layers. Fight longer on the side of the Dire, and that's what ended up punishing them. Them sticking around. It happened in another way, too, with the uh, the Cold Embrace coming out, too, as they lost a couple of heroes from Fnatic because of that, because they stuck around a little longer, and then more damage came from the Dire. But in the end, Radiant win. And then uh, they used that combo with the birds plus one. Seen it with the Spirit Breaker in a couple games lately. Today it's been the next assassin. Guys, one yeah. step at a time. Do your part. Figure out what should be replacing what. But they've come back. They have those items. They have the Necronomicon. They have the Radiance. To be soon, because losing a second lane of Rax here is not ideal for Maneski. Mushi has the haunt in 10 seconds. He's got a TP scroll also to come back to base, but. 
I don't know, Trent. They're just losing a lane of Axe without anything happening. Ohio just draws them back, sucks them in. Is this Envy saying, I'm dead? I'm dead. I'm just dead. Leave me. I'm dead. Is he dead, though? Yeah. Is he really no. dead, Trent? I thought he was going to commit for the Racks. I thought that was the possible spawn. Same. Yeah, that's oh. quick. I was hovering over it, and I had to read it in my head like three times, because it said, Roshan will respawn. Oh, oh that dear. dear. Instantaneously. He's just trying to grab these waves, but... Arcane rune nicks. <laughs> in this fight at Roshan. Can they get right. a big win What's more ridiculous, the win last game or win this game? Uh, the win last game. Really? You don't think... If Maneski won this game, I oh, mean... Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. I thought you yeah, meant that's... Um, The win this game would be more ridiculous. Yeah, I would have to. For, sh for sure. For sure. They found Ice by Side. Stun, Chain, No Curse, Excalibur Beyond Godlike continues. This boogie also going to get taken down here. Just one more hit is all they need. A bit of a Radiance Burn or a Quill Spray. Just follow him over the trees with Pile I Die. It's him. The Dazzle. The lowly five roll. He finds the kill. Not one of those other things that the core heroes have. Screw them. Winter Wyvern has to buy back with the Jashiro. The Winged Beast return. Even with the familiars wailing into him. Tier 3 will get chipped away at. Mushi not going to get involved. He's got the Radiance though on Spectre after the refusal. So he's actually farmed himself reasonably well. The trouble is this. The Puck does no damage to Excalibur. The Blink, Rift, and the Orb does nothing. And they've Winter's Curse and Nyx. Uh, that's not the best. Because they dive into the back. Ice, ice, ice. He's found by EE. -E. Cleared up. Dive back. Step two. And now the Blink Coil not going to accomplish much either. Obliterated. This is going to be it. Excalibur continues his streak. A triple kill. Continues the godlike. Beyond godlike even. And the GG is called. It's over Mineski. They tap out. They are defeated 2-0. Uh, I don't know. One of the greatest anime comebacks of all time is Eternal Envy beat Mineski in the ESL1 Hamburg qualifiers. They're doing it.